Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Wonder Studio's facial animation feature. All right, so here we are in Wonder Studio app. So you can see here all the stuff that I've been kind of uploading. But let's go ahead and process that take that we did. So I'll go to create new project right here. I'll say live action is okay. And I will upload that video. So click right here, go to desktop, Wonder Studio. I have this tuber that I just kind of edited down. So I'm starting to notice like this web app is actually pretty reactive, almost like a desktop app, which is pretty insane. Like there's no delay whatsoever. So here he is, super ugly. Let's go ahead and click next. And then I'm going to say scan frame actors. Okay. And after that, if I go to the right side, and I'll just explore this for now so you can see what's going on. If I highlight the alien right here, Sam, if I click on Sam, you're going to see that we have supports facial performance, works best with smaller actors. That's me. And then if I go to this character right here, the professor, you're going to see that there is a partial facial support. So it's kind of cool that they tell you, you know, the blend shapes or the facial animation quality you're going to get out of the actual characters. We have one right here, organic alien. This looks pretty cool. I'm actually going to try that out as well. So they do have some with facial animation, and this is one of them. Additionally, I believe there is the Sandy one supports facial performance. So you can do that too. Okay. So I have two Sam's already. So what I'm going to do is use Sandy now because that supports facial performance as well. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and remove this because what we can do now is just drag and drop that character there. And you're going to see right here, actor one and click next. I'm going to do 1080p and I'll just export the AI mocap for now. Again, we don't have the camera tracking yet, so that's okay. And then click on start processing. So as you can see right here, this is going to process estimated runtime 151 minutes. So what I'll do is I'll pause this video for now and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back in Wonder Studio and our project is finished here. So let's see how it did. Press play. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Wonder Studio's facial animation feature. Now, I'm going to be testing this out in a kind of VTuber, YouTuber type of deal where I'm just facing the camera because honestly, I think it would be really cool to replace myself as a 3D character from time to time. So to do this test, I'm just going to do a couple of tongue twisters right now, starting with the seashells, she shells in the seashore. I don't think I said that right. She sells, she sells by the seashore. If she sells seashells by the seashore, she won't really sell a lot of seashells because people can just pick up the shells on the seashore themselves. Okay, so I'm hoping, you know, that captured it well. No, I am just sitting down. I'm not doing a lot of movement or anything like that. But again, this is more like a tutorial 3D character. Can I replace myself with a 3D character whenever I'm doing video tutorials here on YouTube. So that being said, I'm going to stop recording, copy and paste the file in my computer because I do have a Windows device. We can do that. And then I'll open up Wonder Studio app. Uh, it doesn't, it, it, some, it, sometimes when, when you see technology, you, you kind of ask yourself, this doesn't even make sense. I was honestly, no offense, Nicola, Ty, no offense, all right? I was expecting some janky facial animation coming out of this. I didn't calibrate anything. I didn't give it a neutral pose like you would on an iPhone live link with a meta human. What in the Popeyes is going on behind the scenes? Because this, this, you have to understand how well that worked considering i shot in 30 frames per second not even 60 frames per second now the eye is not looking directly at the camera so that could be problematic because eye line is pretty important when you're looking at a character you don't want to kind of looking off camera but yo if this is gen one i i, I don't and it's not even using 
sensor depth. It's not even using the sensor, the depth, or oh, the, the true depth sensor. I don't think. I, I don't even know. I don't know what what it's using to be honest to capture that facial animation. But yo, that that is that's just crazy to me. I mean, let me know in the comments below. Am I overreacting here? But all I did was I recorded the video, uploaded it, dragged and dropped this character, waited, what was it, 100 something minutes, 110 minutes, and you have this character here. Yo, this is this is insane. So, like I said, I I did the Sam as, as well, the alien earlier. So, let's go over here. I have I did two. So, let's press play for this one. Cuz honestly, that was my first time trying the the Sandy girl. So I, I, I'm I'm just blown away. So here's Sam. <laughs> so, so my foot there. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're gonna be testing out Wonder Studios facial animation features. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're gonna be testing out Wonder Studios facial animation feature. Even this one did really well. Because this character is actually looking straight at the camera. And, and, and I did the same thing. I just looked straight at the camera. But my goodness. I did another one. All right. So I had my daughter. She's six. I made her um, hold the camera for me. So here I am in the uh, playroom. I added a bunch of crap in there to throw it off. You see it right here, the tracking. Check this out. There we go. Hey, what's going on? Y'all Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be checking out Wonder Dynamics wonder studios facial animation feature when i backed out as i was backing out it jacked it up just a little bit all right so left and right is fine but when i go front and back it looked like it did something there wonder dynamics wonder studios Yo. facial animation see that as i step back it, it it was just exaggerated but still WTF, WTF is, is, is all I can say here. Because now looking at this, the, the result, this is making me excited, a lot more excited about the other characters that they have here coming, right? So if I go right here and I go back, look at all of these characters by Aaron Sims Creative. Because if they are rigged and they can be facially driven using just a camera, a video with no special equipment, a mocap helmet, a 3D, 4D camera, just by this? I, I just don't know if they're going to be rigged. I, I don't know if these aliens are going to be rigged, but this is crazy, man. And I'm going to be doing more tests, obviously. This is just a little preview. And it looks like they actually have, I think, in the main window, they also have like an asset marketplace page. So I'm curious to know what they're going to sell there as well. But, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And again, I was expecting it to be Live Link iPhone facial animation. I didn't expect it to look that decent. That's my opinion. Like always, I like to know your opinion. So go ahead and let me know in the comments below and we'll we'll talk it out. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.